Hey, how's it going, everybody? Supreme Silver Stacker here with another video for you guys for today. So, this one, guys, it deserves another update. Where is Supreme Silver Stacker at with his stacking? So, today, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to be showing um, where we're currently at and how many ounces are we currently holding to, uh, and we've been increasing our silver gain. So, I'll just give you a little backstory of myself. So, me, just some guy that lives in here in Vegas, and uh, we've been hold, we've been stacking silver since November of last year, just of last year. So about a little over five months already. So um, since we've been stacking silver, the whole reason for me stacking silver was just to be able to um, hold on to my uh, wealth. Oh, I don't even know why I say wealth, but just to hold on to my money. U.S. economy is very unstable. Uh, we don't know if our dollar is going to turn into Zimbabwe, which is a $100 trillion bill that, uh, believe it or not, is real in Zimbabwe, you know, or what's going to happen with our currency. What I do know for a fact is I need to store my money somewhere, anywhere, but except cash. Um, storing it in cash, just storing cash, uh, my, by me storing cash, the value of that cash is going down every single day. I need to put it somewhere, so I decided to put it in precious metals, and specifically silver, because I see it as an undervalued, um, very undervalued precious metal that has some potential to be able to go to, you know, be able to go to 40, 50, 60, and maybe even one day $100 an ounce. So I've been picking up silver for uh, from here. I mean, I've been picking up silver pretty decently. My for the uh, for the last five months and i've been keeping my cost of acquisition pretty down i've been my average cost of acquisition um since i've been acquiring silver for the last five months has been about 29 dollars an ounce um i've been trying to keep it as down as possible with adding junk silver here and there but anyways guys you guys don't want to hear all that so let's go ahead and let's get it started so we're going to show a whole review of our stack now currently what we have on our stack is over 300 and 52 uh, ounces to be exact and here she is right now guys so we have over 352 ounces of silver and we're gonna be laying it out on this table every single ounce and to see what it looks like and to see what what my stack looks like so um, the last video I did make was at hundred and fifty ounces now we're more than doubled and our goal is to hit 500 ounces by uh, my, my goal was honestly to hit 500 ounces by the end of the year but the way everything's turning out right now um give me two more months i'm not even lying <laughs> give me two more months and i will be able to have all 500 ounces but uh this is over 352 ounces to be exact we're laying it out on the table and let's see uh how supreme silver stacker has been so give me a couple seconds guys I'm going to lay all this out right here and let's take a look at our silver game. Has it been, have we been keeping it strong? Have we been keeping our silver hands game strong? Let's see you guys. All right guys, peace. All right, guys so that's pretty much it we laid everything out on the table so have we been keeping our silver hands game strong we've been trying to guys so uh here it all is let's go ahead and show her off all right guys this is our an entire stack right here Woo! took a while to lay her out but she's all laid out now so this is over 352 ounces of silver that we've accumulated in over five months 
and damn sure I'm proud of it. So anyways guys, we're gonna go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up. So let's go ahead. So the first round we're gonna be seeing is the Wall Street Bet rounds. These are immaculate, love them. So Wall Street Bets, if you guys have not heard of them, um, they should make Wall Street Silver rounds. But this kind of started, I mean, anyways, this started the recent movement of, uh, and, and a great movement of pushing silver, you know, uh, to the youth. And we've seen a lot more millennials buying uh, silver recently, which is amazing. Second over here, we have, we have our, can I pronounce the company name? They're called Asahai or some, some, something like that. But these are the modern Buffalo rounds uh, that just recently came out. New rounds, beautiful, 2021, and I bought over 30 rounds of these right here. This is the front side. This is what it looks like in the front, and this is what it looks like on the reverse side, the buffaloes. And then we'll come out over here, and we have the Captain Cook uh, uh, coins over here. So we have over 30 ounces, the same thing over here. Anyways, we go over here. Now we got our Aztec calendar uh, rounds. And these right here are one of my top five. These are uh, the Aztec calendars, absolutely love them. Got myself 15 rounds of these over here. And, and I got a pretty good price on them too. I was able to get these for $28 a pop. Then we come up over here, we have our 2020 Libertads. Very hot, low mintage, over only 300,000 if I'm, if I'm, yes, over 300,000 rounds. I um, mean, you know, over 300,000 coins minted and very low mintage. And recently, uh, the Mexican Mint shut down their production. They shut down, um, I believe, the mining. But here is a 2020 version. We got 13 rounds of this. And we also have these right here, the old school uh, Libertads. I was freaking lucky to get these at my local coin shop for $27 a piece. Um, I would have bought more, but he only had two. Trust me, if he had if he had rounds and he had rolls, I would have bought every single freaking uh, Libertad that he had. Unfortunately, this is all he had, but it is what it is. So we come over here, we have our Somalis. I'm um, not too much of a fan of these, but these are pretty decent looking. We got a Canadian maples, our uh, Australian crocodile coins, and then we have our Liberty Freedom rounds, just generics, nothing special. And then we have our Canada. Anyways, we have our Roaring Lion. That's what's called Roaring Lion. We got only two rounds of this. Here, right here, is our Philharmonics. Here, let me let me see. So we have our film harmonics right here, and I believe we only have five rounds of these, or actually five coins of these, and yeah, we actually do. And then we have our Britannias, we have different years. We have the 2019, and then we have our kangaroos, more Somalis, and then our kangaroos. It's called Tree of Life. SD Bullion sells these rounds, or these coins. Uh, picked up a couple, they're pretty cool, they're decent. More Britannias, and then we have our entire collection from 1980. Uh, I believe I have an 86, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I have a 1980 somewhere, somewhere here, and all the way to 2000. Oh, 1988 is my oldest American Silver Eagle. So these are all my American Silver Eagle. I have over 30 plus rounds of these. I think I have close to 40 now. Uh, and this is it right here. More American Cerebrals. Once the price of the premiums go down on these, I do who want to jump on them. But anyways, these are all my generic Buffalo rounds right here. All generics, 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 generics. generics. And then right here, I have my A Mark Liberty Happiness uh, rounds as well. And then coming across over here, I have my small two ounce Monarch medals. 
Um, I believe these are called Chunkies. And then these right here are pretty cool as well. I think I want to get more, but the premiums on these are <sighs> not cheap. Over $7 over spot. So I just picked up a couple. But look, these are freaking Lego, guys. Tell me this isn't cool. Look at this. Lego, look at that. You want to build, you know, a house of silver? Sure damn you can. Well, anyways, I got just three. I, I want to buy more, but $7 an ounce. I mean, $7 over spot. I don't know if I want to pull the trigger yet. But anyways, I got my 10 ounce bars right here. I got two year of the bull because I believe that's what we're, that's the year. It's our year, year of the bull. And uh, we're going to take advantage of 2021. Then over here, this is just a generic uh, 10 ounce. Over here, we have a queen beast. Queen beast. Um, I believe this is... Yeah, the yell of Beaufort, 10 ounce, thick, beautiful mama. Absolutely love it. Not that, but this looks pretty cool. I was able to get this uh, before the craziness happened uh, with the silver squeeze. And I was able to get that for $29 an ounce. So I got that one for two. Actually, I got this one for $289, I remember. Um, here is my junk silver. So we're going to turn this camera here. So we have, uh, I, if you guys can notice, I am a huge neat freak. I have to have everything absolutely organized. I have my key date, dime, 90% junk silver, constitutional silver. Um, so I have my dimes here. I have my quarters here. Uh, the black means they're completely full. And I have uh, all my other quarters. I have my half dollars. And then last but not least, what I'm very proud of it's my four last of its kind American Silver Eagle here. It's so bright. Give me. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So we got four rounds. I mean, four rounds, four coins of American Silver Eagle 2021 last type. They're going to be making a, a type two now. They're going to have a different. Uh, yeah, the reverse side is going to have a different design. It's no longer going to have. Uh, the original design that they've been having since 1986. Now they're going to have a different design in the back, which is a, just a different type of eagle. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. So I got four of these. Um, these I am very proud of. Um, I bought these for about $73 at the U.S. Mint. I was able to get my hands on them, but now they're selling for a double. So anyways, guys, this pretty much wraps up it for today. Uh, this is our entire stack right here of 352 ounces um, I, if I'm not mistaken I don't have a hundred dollar face value yet of junk silver I think I have 70 80 I gotta check the computer I keep track of all the silver that I buy to make sure that I keep my acquisition uh, cost of acquisition low and make sure that my silver game is on point and I'm not overspending and I'm tracking all my silver and making sure you know that I'm tracking all my silver and not losing any of my my silver so that we work so hard to get. But anyways, guys, this pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. Thank you. It was a great experience to show you guys our stack. And I hope you guys are also uh, uh, hope, hoping you guys are also stacking high to the moon as well. Um, but we will get there, guys. So next video, we will be showing our, I don't know, I think we may sh might show our 500 ounce but we might kick it up to a thousand ounce for the next video because this is a lot and now I got to put all this back in the box. So anyways, guys, if you have any questions, comments or anything that you would like to see or maybe some new rounds that you think I should add to my collection or, you know, or you think that what would benefit me, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you guys can also support my small channel, uh, just all you have to do is simply just like the video and also it'd be nice if you can also subscribe as well. But anyways, guys, this pretty much wraps it up for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, evening, weekend, morning, afternoon. I don't know, whatever time you guys are watching this video. But anyways, guys, um, I hope this inspires you guys to stack, stack to the moon. Uh, and I'll see you guys there, guys. All right, guys. Peace.